So the two amigos <laughs> dragged me out to the, this is the Pecanton Laval. And he's done it again. <laughs> and he's done it again, he's yeah. He's making us spend more money. Can you get it again if it's... Yeah, so if I don't like it, you're buying it off me? Not this one. <laughs> <laughs> Where's this going? Where's this for? It's meant to be going in the salon. Right. Obviously it's not the right colour at the moment. Show us your leg. Come on. Let's have, so. let's have a bit of leg. <laughs> 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 I think the style that you're going for, gold leaf it, because you're struggling to find gold furniture. We can't find gold furniture. No. So, I think doing that, it's the exact same style that you want, and it'll fit perfectly. In the and sound. it's at a bargain price, you can't go wrong. Proof's yeah. in the pudding then, eh? Okay. So, so Terry's okay. taking it home and he's going to um, revamp it for me. <laughs> yes. And I saved in the shuttle. <laughs> I said that Carol needed a furniture friend to help. So also, we're going to drag him down there to uh, help lay out this salon. Rearrange it. Rearrange it. Or arrange it. Arrange it. <laughs> <laughs> With an added feature. I think it looks lovely. <laughs> Let's have a look at the details and maybe and we can... Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, yeah. I think once you go with leaf, it'll look really nice. And the leg as Everyone well. Everyone thought they'd seen enough gold leaf. Well, what will come yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is the console table we bought when we were out at Brookon with Terry the other day um, and it is, if it was upright, it would be the perfect fit there. So job today is to prepare it because this wood is mahogany, well mahogany coloured, obviously it doesn't fit within the salon. So first of all we'll get that sanded and then get a primer on it before we turn it into something along the colour lines of the table. Let's see how that comes up. But as you can see, not necessarily there, but anywhere around the side of this room, it will fit perfectly. Can't believe it. Stroke of luck there. This is my console table, but... That's your missing leg. I've got um, so many jobs on my list today. Oh. I thought maybe you would like to do it for me. My list is longer than the journey back to the UK and you're adding another one. You want me to rough that up? <laughs> no, we just sand it nicely. You want me to rough it up? <laughs> look how nice. I'm just going over it quickly with a bit of sandpaper to see what it came up like. But look how nice the wood is underneath. Oh, I like that. Exactly. Shall we have a problem? I can't do the details like that, I know. Oh, that wasn't a problem. I thought you were gold leafing it. Yeah, but I've got to paint it first. Oh, when you, when you and Terry were talking about let's gold leaf it, I thought you were gold leafing the whole flipping thing. Okay. He wanted to gold leaf the whole thing. Oh, so did he? He wants to do that. He can do it himself, <laughs> I said. And he, he passed. Did he? Yes. Cheek of him. I know. Just need that lightly sanded. Well, sanded actually back to the wood. If we can get all this mahogany off of it. Okay. It's particularly very nice. Well, I've got nothing else to do. Okay. Yeah. And I can go back to doing things that I need to do. Can I drink a coffee first? Is that all right? Okay. Maybe, baby. Right, that's Carol's one-legged table roughened up. Horrible job. Can't think of anything worse than sanding, but I guess needs must. On to the next one. Right, so I've routed out from a joist, um, which I thankfully found, uh, this timber to put around the fireplace. Now I was about to fix it down, and Carol said, no, it's the wrong color, but it is oak, and it's got two coats of Osmo on there, but, it doesn't match him with the floor, unfortunately. So Carol's going to, uh, well, what are you going to do, Carol? Well, we've got this piece that we've been playing with. Um, this is walnut, but I think that's too dark. Although looking at it in the daylight, I think that's it's not too bad. bad, actually. No. And this is a dark, one coat of dark oak. The stain, yeah. So did I say that was oak? You said that was walnut. That's walnut. I've lost the plot. That's dark oak, which isn't very dark. So I'm going to give that a second coat and see how it comes up. Okay. Yeah, but clearly that's too light 
even with the Osmos on that piece of oak, it's clearly That's not going to... That's definitely gonna, yeah. too light and it can't go down yet. Not yet, no. After a bit of playing around with different stains, I managed to get some the correct colour from a friend down the road that saved us buying it. But now that blends in nicely. It actually looks different in the evening. Um, so it's a little bit lighter at the front, but from different angles, it looks completely different. So there we have the trim. So Adrian can get that fixed, ready for the big reveal. Adrian's done a really nice job of sanding this for me uh, while I got on with something else. So now I'm going to give it a coat of primer. It's a bit of a shame really because it was in really nice condition, but as I've said, it doesn't go with the salon. So I'll just go around all the details first with a pointing brush and then go over the surface with possibly a roller. That's the primer dried. So now it's time for the second coat, which is... Da -da -da. Bright red. Using a different brush this time purely because I don't want to ruin my other new brush by putting red all over it. Well, it looks more salmon in this light. Maybe I'll give this red two coats to make it really, really deep. That's looking golden. It's coming up quite well, actually. Has it? Um, would you believe I've run out? I would believe, actually. That's just typical, isn't it? Yep. Let me come down then, have a look. It's got gold if you stand there. Hey, nothing wrong with being gold. <laughs> you might like me there, I'm gold. <laughs> <laughs> if you come around this side, you can see I can't turn it around now. Obviously, you'll add your foil touches to it. Well, I'm going to give it two coats. Obviously, I can't do it all at once. Well, actually, what a transformation. Uh, doesn't that look nice? I think it's all in the preparation, the sanding Absolutely. that's done it. Absolutely. Yep. Yes, but um, there's enough to finish the one coat, which is a bit of a shame, because I could have gold leafed that this afternoon. But you can't till you've done so. Is that a trip out then, is it? Tonight. We have got to go out tonight. Hmm. Never mind. Yeah, let's see done. how the day goes. It'll get done. Okay, I'm going to do a quick once around the uh, chateau because of that storm we had. I want to see if we got any loose tiles down. So I'll leave you spraying. Well, as I said, doing it once around the grounds just to check. Uh, in fact, there's an example. So sometimes after we've had a storm, you'll come round and see the odd loose tile. In fact, it's just quite nice to see it all in one piece. I might be able to use that because it's cut exactly to fit on one of the corners. Sometimes the tiles drop into the gutter, so I don't know until I get out there. Um, but I think all in all, we were lucky on the last storm. Let's see if I can get that up today. And then back to Carol and doing the grass, which uh, I had to do in two stages. It was so long and because it was damp, even though a lot of it dried out uh, with the sunshine and the breeze, I couldn't collect it too wet. So I cut it first, as you can see and let it just throw out the back and now I'll go around again cut it slightly shorter and pick up the loose if you like hey go on then what have you got here then oh I love the red <laughs> <laughs> goes okay, with the furniture I've run out of pain spray anyway this is what I'm intending to do with it okay once it's finished is it fits well, it did fit there we go. It does fit perfectly there. I don't want to touch it too much. No. Red paint all over the wall. So it will go like that. Yes. But the gold doesn't look too bad, does it? I think it looks nice. Yeah. I mean, more gold. I will touch it up. We've touched up the. Um, maybe 
maybe not, touch up <laughs> the um, detailing with gold leaf. Um, and it fell over in the wind and I probably <gasps> touched that bit up too. You've got a lot of touching up to do. So that there. Yes. So maybe there, maybe somewhere else. We can't show the room at the moment until the big reveal on Sunday. The premiere on Sunday, yes. Where that table will be in position and it will be finished. Will it? The whole entire room will be finished. Okay. Here are the sconce finally cleaned up and gleaming. Yes, the candles are crooked. These are so old that some of the fittings aren't straight. And I don't want to touch them too much in case they break off. Adrian's done a marvellous job. They're all looking gleaming and gold. As you can see, all the pins have been replaced. They're all gold now instead of dirty brass. I've replaced the flower that fell to the floor. I will be trying to find some right height. I'm struggling at the moment find, trying to find the right height. Candles that work on LED, battery operated ones working on LED, so that I can just flick a switch and all eight will come on at once. And you can see, oh, my hands. You can see the reflection of the chandelier in the dining room. Meanwhile, in the dining room, the curtains are being made. Hello, darling. Oh, hello. Are you off your mower? Oh, yes. Oh, and we have an incoming cat. So the curtains are in progress for the vanity room and also for the bedroom. They'll be up quite soon. I just wanted to show you a gift we had from Regina. I hope I said that right. This lovely lace doily that she made with our surname on it, which I'm going to lay out on the table along with these eggs that we have had as a gift last year. So we can make a nice display for Easter on the table for Zach. Uh, I should post a photo of that on Instagram. Hello. <laughs> Actually, I just want to say... Hold on, because I have the light glaring through the window. What, on my polished head? Oh, no, you're even worse there. Do I, do I light up like an Easter egg? Actually, <laughs> do you see the resemblance? <laughs> be serious, just for once. If I'm going to be serious, I want to say a big thank you to everyone with their kind comments. We've had so many comments lately, all good stuff, and they really are encouraging. So I hope I got back to most people, but it was a good thing to do. But please, please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It really does help us. And even more so, turn on the notifications, because we have got, this Sunday, a big premiere of Carol's Golden room. Why is it my room? Well, it's not my room. All I did was a floor. <laughs> All right, I own tenth of it. You own the other nine tenths. But I'm re I am myself am looking forward to seeing this video. It is from scratch. So building the wall underneath right through to hanging your golden sconces you've just shown. So please, please make sure you either subscribe and hit the uh, like button. And then we'll show you something else which we're a bit puzzled and not sure what to do, but we'll come back to you a second on that. Da, da, da. It's the big reveal. The big reveal. <laughs> yeah, we finished. That's it. All over. So I've been looking at these lampshades and I've been thinking they're really a little bit too plain. Well, the top is, the bottom isn't. The bottom is lovely. So I'm still thinking and wondering tassels. I just slid on the floor, that's really scary. <gasps> Don't damage my floor. <laughs> so we have a box full of tassels here. Yes. And trims that I haven't used. See, do you not think that that would look really nice around there? That does. Myself, I think that looks really good. So this is your dilemma that you want everyone just to see if they can help with. So we have, is that option one you're saying? Yeah, I've got 16 meters of the, all this because I bought it for the curtains and didn't use it. So that's 
So there's that. Okay. There's also piping is too thick, so we can't use that. But there's also the tassels that we have left over from the curtains. Option two. Which could look like. Mm, again, um, I prefer the first one, but do not listen to me because I. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I mean, circus. See, I've seen lots of lampshades where they have them down the seams to cover up. What about. The boning, but I don't like that. No, so... I was about to say, what about top and bottom? Does that work? Top and bottom. Off the lampshade. I so when I should do that while I cut it out. Hey, you could do anything, I thought. You're superwoman or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Uh, hold on. So, we could have... You can tell we're organised here. <laughs> oh, you like my going around the top hold one on, now? On. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit wrapped up here. <laughs> so we could have it like that. Excuse all our dirty hands, we've been gardening. Yeah. Look, don't you think that looks? Do you not think everybody that maybe that looks a little bit nicer than just plain? I definitely think it does. But let's see what people say. Okay. That's or you ready? So with or without. Mm, I think you might have already answered that. And I still haven't found. I haven't actually had time. We'd spend a lot of time researching for different materials and fabrics, blah, blah, blah. Um, I still haven't replaced these ones here. I'm looking at people have sent me, and thank you very much for everyone who sent me lots of websites and Etsy and- um, Well, Amazon. Called, Amazon. Yeah. Yes, um, I just haven't got round to it. We've had so much to do. So yeah, or any, any, um, anything you can think of out there, uh, please let us know. And then we can get this salon once and for all finished.